by focusing my attention on the one organ for which I have no sensation, that is my brain, thoughts, feelings, and memories start to grow in their prominence, in my awareness and in my perception. As we do that, we tend to be very focused on what's happening with us. Being mindful and being aware can enhance one's level of presence and happiness. 여러분은 얼마나 자주 또 많이 명상하고 계신가요? 명상을 하면 뇌에서는 여러 가지 일이 발생합니다. 오늘 영상에서 앤드류 후버만 교수는 명상과 뇌의 작용에 대해서 이야기합니다. The brain itself, meaning the brain tissue, does not have any sensory neurons. What do I mean by that? Well, if I touch the top of my hand, I can feel that. If I want to sense my heartbeat, if I work at it, I can feel that. If I want to sense how I feel internally at the level of my stomach, is it full, is it empty, am I hungry, is it acidic, does it ache or does it feel pleasant, etc. I can sense that. And that's because we have sensory neurons on our skin and in our body, etc. We also have sensory neurons in our eyes that let us perceive things externally. We have no sensory neurons on our brain. This is one of the reasons why you can remove the skull and do brain surgery on somebody who's wide awake and be poking around in there and they don't need any anesthetic on the brain itself. They need anesthetic for the incision site, but they don't need anesthetic on the brain because it has no feeling. You have emotions, but there's no feeling. So normally we are perceiving and paying attention to what we are sensing, either externally, sights and sounds. But by focusing our perception and our attention to a point a couple centimeters or inches behind our forehead, we essentially are bringing that attentional, that perceptual spotlight to a location in which there is no sensation. There's nothing to feel there. And when we do that by closing our eyes and focusing on that quote unquote third eye center, which is the prefrontal cortex, to be quite honest. 잠시 설명드리겠습니다. 앤드류 후보만 교수에 따르면 제3의 눈은 전전두 피질이라고 합니다. 전전두 피질은 전두엽 전면에 위치한 부위이고 끈기와 집중력, 감정 및 충동 조절, 문제 해결 등의 능력에 관여합니다. When we do that, something else happens. And what happens is when we are not thinking about and perceiving our sensations, our thoughts and our emotions and our memories sort of mushroom up. They more a better way to put it would be that they geyser up and take on more prominence in our perception. What I mean by this is that normally You know, I'm not thinking about uh, the contact point between me and this chair, but as I'm speaking, I'm in contact with the chair and those neurons are firing. But if I focus my energy and attention on them, they're going to fire the same, but more of my perception goes there. Similarly, I'm thinking things all the time. You are too. And I'm perceiving things all the time and I'm remembering things all the time and I'm anticipating things all the time about the future. But by focusing my attention on the one organ for which I have no sensation, that is my brain, well then, thoughts, feelings, and memories, feelings meaning emotional feelings, start to grow in their prominence, in my awareness and in my perception. And so this is why when you sit down to a meditative practice, if it's a meditative practice where you close your eyes or you're focused on that third eye center, where you're focused on your brain, and when you direct your own attention to the very area of your brain that directs attention, There's nothing to sense there. The only things that will become present to you are feelings, emotions, that is, thoughts, and memories. And much of what we talked about in that paper earlier, the one where they asked people, what are you doing and what are you feeling and how happy or how unhappy are you are? What they discovered was that most people are sort of in their head a lot. They're not really present to what they're doing, which leads me to the statement that I believe, at least based on the data, that paper included, that most people have an interoceptive bias, focused more on what's going on internally than they are focused on what's happening externally. There are certainly people who, for the opposite is true, but I think that this is an issue because We hear so often about the need to do a meditation practice that allows us to focus inward. We're getting yanked around by all the stressors and demands of life. But as we do that, we tend to be very focused on what's happening with us. The data clearly point to the fact that being mindful and being aware can enhance one's level of presence and happiness. 
But we can go so far as to say that being mindful and aware of what's happening, not just with us, but external to us in our immediate environment, that includes what other people are saying and doing, that also can really enhance our sense of well-being and happiness. At least that's what the data point to. 앤드류 후보만 교수의 설명을 정리해 드리겠습니다. 세상에는 우리가 감각을 느낄 수 있는 것과 느낄 수 없는 것이 존재합니다. 우리는 평소 감각을 느낄 수 있는 것에 집중하며 살아갑니다. 하지만 뇌는 우리가 감각을 느낄 수 없는 곳입니다. 이러한 뇌에 우리가 의식적으로 집중하게 되면 생각, 감정, 기억들이 인식에서 더 뚜렷해지게 됩니다. 이 과정은 전전두피질에 집중하는 명상을 통해 할수 있습니다. 또한 대부분의 사람들은 외부에서 일어나는 일보다 자신의 내면에서 일어나는 변화에 더 신경을 씁니다. 우리는 마음 챙김, 알아차림 명상을 통해 우리의 몸과 마음에 대해서 잘 이해하게 될수 있고 이는 궁극적으로 우리의 존재감과 행복감 향상에 도움을 줍니다. 마음 챙김과 알아차림 명상에 대해서는 설명란에 간단히 적어두겠습니다. 이상으로 오늘 준비한 영상을 마치겠습니다. 감사합니다.